The Unknown History of the Draenei Previously on Draenei lore, Sargeras coerced a large majority of the Eridar into accepting his demonic yeah, power, that's and they all Jayden turned into Arkham demons, yeah. except for a small group called the Draenei, led by Prophet Velen. Mm -hmm. The group of refugees got in a magical spaceship given to them by the Naru, wow. and they escaped into the cosmos. They traveled in their spaceship until they found a world called Exile's Refuge, yep. also known as Exeter. Draenor. Oh. Oops. Um, where did the lights go? Yeah! What the fuck? Hataru, please. How do they keep getting fucked this. over? Uh, uh, it's magic, yeah. obviously. The Draenei's arrival into Draenor was anything but smooth. They had been traveling around the cosmos, visiting dozens of planets, and in that time, they started to run out of fuel. The Naru Kure, Dore, and Kara powered the ship and Kara was completely drained of its power. Wow. When the Naru lose their power, they enter the void state of their life cycle. What the fuck? And its fuck? chaotic energies would only spell disaster for the other Naru and Draenei on the ship. I didn't even know so that. So Velen, he did what he had to do, and he shot that bitch in the space. What? All right, everyone, crisis averted. Now we can... Whoa! He just shot... He kicked her off the boat, yeeted and deleted. I imagine yeeting a Naru. Cause like, aren't Naru supposed to be like, like imagine in like fucking the Bible. It's like, you know, fucking one of the disciples is like, yeah, um, Gabriel or like one of the other angels. Yeah, we're gonna have to yeet you off the boat. Uh, yeah, you're causing us too much trouble. Like, dude, there's no way that that wouldn't end with, like, a lightning bolt from God directly on that ship that just blows it up. You know what I mean? Lucifer? Yeah, but, like, God did that himself. It's different. Yeah, totally different. Drain Eye Genius. What genius? They just crashed. What genius is this? The Draenei had quite the unfortunate arrival when they crash landed on Draenor. Orcs. On impact, one of the other Naru, Dore, was killed, as well as some of the other Draenei passengers. Bro, these things are fucking useless. Things are useless. Like, one of them is, like, about to explode, and then the other one just dies. Like, they're useless. The Genadar was left a what powerless is this, man? husk of a ship, and the last living Naru, Kure, told the Draenei to leave the uh. ship as fast as possible, because it too would eventually morph into the void state of its life cycle. And so, the Draenei set forth on this strange new land filled with okay. wonder and mystery. Wow. But shooting that Naru out of the spaceship had sapped a lot of Velen's energy. Damn. The Prophet was known for his ability to see into the future, but without the Naru's help, it would be foolish for him to lead his people all by himself. Instead, wow. Velen helped organize a group called the Council of Exarchs to help oh, guide yeah. the different aspects of Draenei culture. First, wait, didn't those guys turn evil? Was the Rangari scouts who would explore Draenor and relay information to the yeah? Rest didn't of their they people, turn evil? Led by a Draenei named Nyele. Next, the artificers, uh -oh. engineers who built yeah. armor weapons, and fortifications for their settlements. Their leader was Hitaru, okay. a brilliant crafter in his own right, who learned how to harness the power of Arcanite crystals. Wow. The Vindicators at served least it as holy warriors of the Draenei, who stood at the front lines of combat, and were That's led by mace. none other than a comma. <sighs> Lastly was the Shatari, led by a priest oh, shit. named Othar. And they... Othar? Uh just prayed a lot and talked to dead people. So those are losers. They're losers. That's basically it. Yep. These four pillars of Draenei society mm -hmm. led their people deep into Draenor yes. and built a foothold and planned their next steps in securing a bright future for the nomadic race. Wow. Bro. 
Bro, remember whenever we thought that was going to be a raid? Do you remember that? That was going to be so cool. Because, like, they were going to open, open Shatrath, and it was going to be, like, Draenor, dude, and, like, you could fly over, and it would push you away, and it's like, there's a force inside that doesn't allow you to get any closer to it. It's like, oh, my God, what's that force? I can't wait till next patch. And then it was like, Legion is coming out, and it's over now. The first glorious city built by the Draenei Incredible. was called Shatrath City. There it is. Also known as Dwelling of Light. The Draenei capital became I a saw it was called the cut content. culture and religion. But how did they build this giant city in five years? I, I don't know. Zelen Super probably magic. had creative mode on or something. But that's yeah. off topic. The next thing they built was the Temple of Akendun, and they took the yep. body of the Narudore and put it inside. And the Draenei souls who were attracted to it populated the city. That's the dungeon. In the, in uh, yeah. That's the dungeon. Oh, oh. shit. Oh, You're probably shit. wondering, what did the orcs think of these extraterrestrial alien goat people orcs that are landed the worst. on their planet? Well, to be honest, for the first, like, hundred years or so, yeah. they didn't really bother each other. The two races maybe did some trading of resources between each well, what, other. What went wrong? But for the most part, they really just kept it themselves. Besides, the orcs were busy doing orc things, like, uh... Killing each other. Running around in the jungle. Killing each other. Making snowmen, fighting <laughs> ogres for hundreds of years, and worshipping the stars. Yeah, orcs are stupid. I, I do want to make sure everybody knows this. Uh, orcs are stupid. And, uh, they're just, they're dumb. And they have small brains. And they live in huts. Every other race, almost, in all of Warcraft, has developed some form of, like, higher living conditions. Orcs? The orcs' idea of a higher living condition is a hut with metal on it. That's it. Just, a, it's a metal hut. It doesn't get any farther than that. Like, they're the biggest losers. The trolls are actually the biggest losers, you're right. Uh, yeah, actually, that's true. Trolls are bigger losers than orcs, but orcs are a, a close second place. Speaking of worshipping the stars... Ooh, is that Ner'zhul? Pepe! A Shadowmoon clan were a clan that dabbled in void magic. Yeah. They were probably the most superstitious and shamanistic clan in uh -oh. all of Draenor, especially when it came to the stars. Remember how Velen shot that Naru in the space? Oh, well, shit. Well, the Shadowmoon orcs tried to tap into the power of the Dark Naru Kara, who now floated above the valley. But why would they do that, man? Because, like, let's say you're, you're going through space, and it's like, oh my god, we have to kick this guy off the ship, right? He's sus. He, he's the imposter. Why would you throw him off on top of the planet that you're going to land on? Why would you, there's all the other planets and you put him on the one planet that you're on. What do you think is going to happen? He's going to come back. They crashed, but they knew that shit was going to, how do you crash? Yeah, get the fuck out. Yeah, right. <laughs> Pepe. Mm. Is this the, mm, yes, the perfect sacrifice. Ancestors of the Shadow Moon, shine in the darkness. They're gonna sacrifice Lend Pepe? Me your strength. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? How good? Kara's power was extremely overwhelming and totally murdered the oh. curious orcs. Or drove them insane. So it's they like the, the anomaly in the sky, the dark star, and it became something they greatly like the Ark feared. Of the Covenant. And the chieftain forbade anyone from tapping into its dark power, or they would be excommunicated from the Shadow Moon clan. Oh shit! Until who? Will Pepe Captain? What the fuck? Pepe is the most important war character Let's in WoW. Let's see, what else did the Draenei accidentally do? Oh, well, yeah. because a giant magical spaceship drove headfirst into yeah. the Earth, its powerful energies of light, <laughs> void, and arcane magic 
sent the primals and the breakers on Draenor into a frenzy. So here's the thing. So basically they show up, they destabilize the area, they cause global warming and climate change. Honestly, if the Draenei didn't have hot female characters, they would be the worst race in the game. Like they're very lucky. Shit. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, boys. They're just like humans, IRL. No, because we didn't come here from space. Or maybe we did. Dre and I tried to correct their wrongdoings and quell these elements, but they're they stupid. save all of the natives from the elements' wrath. Yeah, not gonna happen. So the Draenei's influence continued the spread and they established multiple settlements across the magical ley lines of Draenor. The most prominent of these settlements was the Temple of Karabor. And over time- Bro, this is like, this video is a graveyard of content. That's what it is. It's like, th this was supposed to be like the main city that we had. It's like, oh man, dude, remember back whenever this was gonna happen? Like, oh yeah, dude, this is gonna be so cool. Like, honestly, in 20 years, I'm still going to be mad about the fact that WAD, WAD happened the way it did, man. Like, I, I really am. I'm still going to be pissed off about it. I was so happy whenever it came out, too. Ian, thanks for the hundred bucks, man. My man. Time, the Draenei brought the elements back mm -hmm. into their equal balance. But more importantly, the Draenei learned how to ride Elix, which yes. are basically just elephants, but cooler because they have horns. This is a common trope for a lot of creatures in WoW. It's like, oh, you want to have a crocodile mob? Well, you know, this is a fantasy game, so we got to make it unique. Yeah, so, uh, it's got to be a different name. Put two more legs on that crocodile, and then boom, now you got a crocolisk. That's basically what they do. Well, all that was going on. Back in the ground. Same how they have elix instead of ele uh, elephants, and then they have crocolisks instead of crocodiles. I actually like that. I think that's more interesting because it makes it more special to Warcraft. I like that. And a peculiar thing was happening with their crashed ship. What's that? But before we talk about that, here is a quick word from today. Excuse me for the interruption, but I have ripped you through time and space so that we may conduct a mutually beneficial transaction. Introducing Yeti X, World of Warcraft Edition. A microphone with excellent quality oh, and a oh sleek and elegant Warcraft design. Wow. Furthermore, wow, that is so good. The ability to mimic audio waves from other worlds. Isn't that dimensions. crazy? Isn't that amazing? Provided, you may choose from multiple different voice changing pressets. What? And just recently, they have added new ones for the Burning Crusade. Wait, should I buy that? Ethereum. That's cool. That's my voice right now. For oh my god. Taz Dingle. Fungal Giant. So they have one for Fungal Giant. It's like, imagine programming that. But like, okay, so it's like a big giant. Well, what do they say? Oh, they don't say anything. They just make weird noises. They're like, okay, so you hired me to make a voice changer to take whatever anybody says and just turn it into like a weird... But yes, that's correct. Yes, now get to work. My personal favorite, Jesus. Orc. Hello, I am a fell orc. Can't you tell by my voice? Oh my god. Not only this, but you can also play audio clips. That shit's cool? Device. Yeah, I think that is cool. There's a large variety of clips from the infamous... Gruel? Oh god. Yeah. To Italian Bolvar. Quando la Benshi ha spezzato l'elmo, ha aperto lo squarcio nel velo del nostro mondo. I strongly suggest you proceed with this transaction. What the? This is ridiculous. To get a Yeti X World of Warcraft Edition microphone. That is pretty cool. Yourself. Thank you, Blue, for partnering with me. I will now transport you back to your original location in the space-time continuum. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. Um, what was I saying? Um, okay. Oh yeah, there is a weird thing happening with their crash ship. Yeah. The husk of the Genadar started to attract orcish souls who were drawn by its holy energies that lingered within the ship. These light-imbued orcish spirits were granted with sage wisdom, and it was often shamans would travel to the ship so they could be enlightened with advice from their ancestors. They okay. renamed the ship to Ashugun, and it became a place of large cultural significance for the orcs. Yeah, this is in, I think, the Granders. What? <sighs> What this happened? deeply troubled the Draenei because here's yeah. the thing. The last remaining Naru, Kure, 
was still alive and morphing into its void state deep within the ship. What was going to happen if it grew stronger? What effect would it have on the orcs? Yeah. Did Draenei really do anything about it? No, not really. Getting between an so orc said, and his dead it? grandpa who tells him good advice like, Hide and push with axe. Wait for ogre. Kill ogre. Get I told you guys they're stupid. I, I told you they're stupid. If ogre head to pretty orc, orc become wife. Have tiny orc baby. Live happy life. Mm, yes, good advice. Okay. Like, if the Draenei tried to get into the middle of that, surely the orcs yeah, would get violent. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Instead, the Draenei kinda just decided to not to it's do pretty anything, good system, and if something bad happened to the orcs, it, it would be their problem. Yeah, fuck them. Who cares? And that was kinda the strategy the Draenei had with pretty much any potential foe on Draenor. Yeah. Just don't get in their way and try and remain as peaceful as possible. Yep, yeah, don't, but don't get involved. sometimes, warfare was inevitable. Oh, shit. Oh god, ogres. Ogres are stupid. You guys have to know this. They're Okay, so the Draenei kind of made a I want you to understand in the lore. It is literally a lore device. Exodus, thank you very much for the hundred dollars. It is a lore like plot device that all of the smart ogres died, and there are only stupid ones. They, they they literally got rid of all the smart ogres, and there's only dumb ones that are left. It's literally it, it's so, idiocracy. Apparently, they built Shatrath City on top of the ruins of an old ogre city called Goria, Ooh. and the ogres were furious about Ooh, this. They're not happy. Did these weak? Little blue monsters really think they could just waltz right onto Draenor yeah. and build a city on their once great capital? Yeah, sure, why not? The Gorian Empire will not be overthrown by these peasants! The Jesus. leader of the Gorian Empire was an ogre named Imperator Hawklon, who accused the Wait, Draenei what? of being usurpers. That's another guy. Who stole the knowledge and power of the arcane from the ogres. Oh, wow. Besides, how could the Draenei make such a technologically advanced city? Clearly, something was up. They stole the it from Hawthorne them. Declared exactly. That he would seize control of the ogres' ancient lands once yeah. again and bring the Gorian Empire into a golden age. Wow. The high mall aristocrats threw That's their a nice guy for the Imperator's ambitious goals. Mm -hmm. In an ogre army that outnumbered the Draenei, Damn. was formed and marched towards the gates. These of guys Shadrach are popping City. off. What the hell? What the fuck? The Draenei were not a race that enjoyed violence. In fact, uh, Velen did everything in his power to stay passive. He's a pussy. Worked through his problems peacefully. Yeah, a pussy. But a pussy. If the ogres wanted war. They'd have to stand their ground. Yeah. Seize this opportunity to die gloriously. For your names will be carved into history. History they mean is a rock. It's a rock. Your name will be carved into a rock that will be lost because they forget where they put it. Let the battle yeah, they have very begin. small brains. Oh shit. Got him. Wait, all the ogres are just dying. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Wait, it's a comma, isn't it? Oh, it's the, no, it's the other guy. Osardo. Jesus. Embarrassing. Absolutely. <laughs> Getting wrecked. Wait, who's this guy? Uh oh. Is that a comma? This is a good fight. Damn, bro, that fight scene's half like that. That fight scene's as good as half of the ones in WoW. That was actually really good, dude. A comma, a a, a comma took it to him, man. I beat his ass. Damn, the paladin charge. He was high level, man. They don't get that until the like three that expansions the ogres from now. The war declared on the Draenei oh. was over in a single 
battle. The okay. Green Empire's ruler was defeated. It's realistic. And the army was left That's in good. disarray. From the top of the city's ramparts, Velen appeared with outstretched arms and said, "GG, easy, get rolled, kid. Imagine thinking you could kill us, LMA. Yeah, player trash. Fuck him, dude. Okay, well he didn't say if that. If it was in Final Fantasy, he would have gotten banned. He said, "Go home, and you will not be harmed." So instead of wiping out the Empire right then and there, they decided to let them flee back to their city Ogres are and such pick up losers. the pieces of the Gorian Empire. <laughs> this whole event <laughs> blew the orc's mind. What These the blue fuck? aliens they considered to be a passing oddity just defeated the ogres in a single battle. And the orcs, they have been in conflict with these guys for like... Eight million almost years. all of orcish history. Yeah, the no whole time. were the Draenei just some anomalies. They were now a threat. Yeah. Every year, the orcs had an event called the Kosharg Festival by Ashugun. And at that year's festival, it was filled with unease. Some clans wanted to avoid all contact with the Draenei. While See, this is funny to me, because like the the thing with the ogres, is, or sorry, the orcs and the ogres, is that these are both horde races. And then the alliance races, they're like, it, it's like basically the stories in WoW lore are how the alliance races are better than horde races. It's kind of like how the trolls were losers, and then the night elves came from trolls, and then the night elves put the trolls in the garbage can. And then the Draenei come out of nowhere, and they literally just crash a ship there, and they just take over everything and beat the shit out of the ogres like it's no big deal. It's really sad, honestly. And then the orcs, the whole reason the World of Warcraft even happened is they ate up all their own shit because they don't know how to make a farm. They don't know how to water their plants, and so they had to go over to Azeroth and eat our vegetables. Others thought showing mercy to the ogres was a sign of the Draenei's weakness. True. The clans never did come to a Big conclusion dumbos. on the matter. At the end of the day, the Draenei never retaliated against them, so there is no real reason to lock themselves in conflict just yet. Okay. Okay. But back in Shatrath City, what is this? something deeply troubled Prophet Velen. Again and again, porn. his mind was invaded by dark visions. Oh, he could not shit. fully trust his ability to see into the future, but what he saw truly shook him to his core. What is it? On multiple occasions, he envisioned the world of Draenor being consumed okay. by darkness. A large, overwhelming army of orcs marched in unison, bringing only death and destruction in their wake. Wow. Deep within Velen's soul, he feared the worst. Oh shit, the Legion Jaden. was coming. Damn! Damn, bro, that was badass at the end. That was really cool. That that's actually that, that was a good video, dude. I, I'm actually dude, this video it had better like storyline. It had better storyline than most of the shit in the game. Like it was told really well. Like this is awesome. Fuck yeah, dude. This is really, really high quality. Uh, I I'm straight up impressed by this. I think this is really, really, really well done. Like, huge shout out to Platinum Isle. If mods can link this video, please go ahead and do it because I think that he absolutely does deserve the shout out. This is fucking amazing. I really, really like it a lot. The guy did a great job on this, and I think it's really, really good. It's out. It's a it no. It's not alliance propaganda. Okay, this is not alliance propaganda. This is completely normal, absolutely fair, and it's fair and balanced and completely accurate for exactly what it's going to be, okay, guys? So just don't, uh, uh, don't get it twisted, don't get confused.